For several years, I, I battled in the middle of the night. I couldn't get any sleep. All I wanted to do was create. And the reason why is because I did overnight radio. I did morning radio. I did seven to midnight radio. I did afternoon drive radio. Everything in my life led to you have to be awake right now. I became addicted to the flow of creativity. I needed to be on at all times. Now the goal is how do you unlock it? Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I write in a forest. I go there to listen. What started at the Billy Graham Library in Charlotte, North Carolina has evolved into a lifelong journey. I believe that something is constantly moving through each and every one of us. It's our calling. These aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest. Chapter number 303, written on February 19th, 2022. I come to this forest to escape the world, to be in a place of solitude, a moment of truth without the borders lined up with threats of a takeover. This forest, being human, I'm not privy to the personal struggles, how the water flows and the roots beneath the surface fight for what little room there might be. Above ground, we see the image of leafless trees living with white pines, cypress, cedar, and endless amounts of vines wanting to dine with the sun's ray of light. A forest blessed with free roaming deer. Just this morning, I was 25 feet away from a six point buck. And you wonder why I come here to free myself from the world? A woman once asked me, so what church do you go to? I said, this forest, the spiders, the tiny mice, the owls, squirrel, and a vast array of birds in migrating flight. By the time the reader or podcast listener reaches this page, what did the world do in this forest? I write this because someone in Ukraine is doing the same exact thing that I'm doing. Where will they be when they reach this page? Written on February 19th, 2022. That's pretty close to when Russia had invaded Ukraine. And it has affected millions of people around the world. This is not political. This is not political. This, this is reality. An invasion that has destroyed force and homes and lives. History has been rewritten. It has been changed. And so I used my own forest here in South Charlotte, North Carolina, as an example. If the borders were broken and we were invaded, what would happen to this forest? All the words that have been written, all the thoughts, all the lessons, all the messages that have, that have grown from this forest. Now, I don't want this to be about me. I want to put the focus on you, your own personal forest. You may not have trees. You, you, your backyard might have one or two. A forest is what you feel inside your mind, body, and soul. How you allow the universe to grow inside of you. Now, you might call it a jungle. You might call it a desert floor. Your place of solitude. And that's what he's writing about here. His place of solitude. I come to this forest to escape the world. To be in a place of solitude. A moment of truth without the borders being lined up with threats of a takeover. Your forest. Where do you go to find that place. I was writing this morning about the silence. I believe that people fear silence. And that's the reason why a lot of people don't want to meditate because once they step into silence, it's like, oh, no, 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 I can't do it. Don't believe me? Why are so many people wearing earbuds? I was at Taco Bell last night. I was trying to have a conversation with the dude at the window. No, he was more interested in dancing to the beats from his earbuds. Your forest is going to provide a silence that gets inside of you in a way that really brings that constant flow of spirit. One of the things that has taken place over the past seven days is that I have battled COVID-19. My way of getting through COVID-19 and that amazing, amazing pain, I'm not going to call it a treacherous pain because I, I don't want to identify it as that. I want to say amazing pain because you got to find the positive somewhere. I'm not saying it was a good pain. I'm just saying it was an amazing pain. It was really that amazing. You get my gist here? I meditated. Meditation got me through it. Yoga Nidra got me through it. Now, now that didn't mean I was doing yoga. Yoga Nidra is different from yoga. It is the spirit that you carry with you, that you build, that you break down. I went into my forest. 
I walked through my forest every day. I documented the entire process of the journey, not only through writing, but recording. And the reason why has nothing to do with me because COVID's not going away. And somebody on a very cold night during their amazing pain, oh, they're going to want to hear or they're going to want to read about what's next. I'm Errol. These are not my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest.